Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we're having a look at the new version of WLED that has been released today and we're looking at the 0.14.0-B1 which is beta version of release number 14 so we're going to update one of my uh, Wemos D1 minis and see what we can see see if we can spot any differences anyway let's get started so first off we go to the WLED web page and we can see the version number here we click on the version number it takes us to the download page and scroll down and we're using this version because we're using a Wemos D1 Mini which is essentially an ESP8266 so we're using this version of the software so we'll download that and we'll update one of our Wemos units. So we're on the main page for one of my Wemos units. And we click on information, we can see we're running 13.3 on this. So we'll go to config, we'll go to security and updates, click on manual OTA update. You can see there we've got an option to download the file, but we already have done. So we'll click on choose file, click on the software, click open, and then click update. And all being well, this should, should update within a few seconds. So it's updated, it's now rebooting, it's now come back on, and it's actually switched on one of my units into its default configuration. And we can see immediately we have some differences in the menu here. So it looks like he's done some work on the actual um, web page of this. So we're just going to have to have a look. Now I believe we can have um, reactive to music on this if we have the correct module, which I haven't got. So maybe I'll have to pick one up and have a look at that. So it does look like um, what we're accustomed to with some subtle differences at the moment. So we've got a timer that's saying it will switch the timer, uh, switch the light off after 60 minutes. We've got our sync interface and we have peak, which gives us a representation of what the light sequence looks like. If we click on it, it does show us. So we'll turn peak off. So information gives us the version number and some statistics. For the actual unit, and we click on nodes. It shows other units that are in in range of this. So we have got a couple of others there. Let's have a look at the configuration. So we have two D. Okay. So we have the option for a two D matrix. Very nice. So one interesting thing I have found in time setup, we can pull the time from an NTP server, which is nice. But down the bottom here, we have time controlled presets. So we've got hours, minutes, and which preset. And then we click on that. We can select on which days and which range to run it from. Very nice if you want to make your own um, sequences based on times and also we've got coming on or going off at sunrise and sunset as well so a nice addition to make this automated and in our sync setup we have our sync groups as well and notice there's a slight spelling mistake there sync groups instead of sync groups okay I'm sure it'll fix that. Okay, let's update another one of these units. So, LTR update. Okay, we've made sure all our sync interfaces are the same. Now, one thing I have noticed is that when you change anything here, it does say down here, reboot is required to apply changes. So if we change anything here, we must reboot the units, which I've just done. 
via this button, reboot WLED. So, all being good, these should now all come on together. And sure enough, they do. Now, because they're using UDP, I've always found them a little bit twitchy. Maybe it's because I've got three units very close to each other. So they do go eventually. Maybe if the units were a little bit further apart. Yeah, but they are synchronising. Excellent. Okay, I've just changed access points on a couple of these just to try and make them synchronise a little bit better. That seems to have worked. Some really nice effects on this. Not sure which ones are new. There's some some names there that I don't recognise. They seem to have music symbols next to them. Maybe those are for the the um, sound reactive ones okay let's have a play with the timer so we're going to make sure that they're all on Um, NTP time so hopefully now they know the time so if we look at just below here it does show the time it is changing and the date as well which is good so Let's have a look at this. So we're at four o'clock at the moment. So 16, and we're going to have it coming on at 16.03. Now presets, we have presets over here. We'll click on plus preset, got a name for it, save to ID one. Right, let's change, do another one. We're going to save that to number two. And we're going to save that one to number three. We'll just delete that one. And preset three. So we've got presets one, two, and three now. Let's try that. So back into time settings, so we're on five minutes past, so we'll do seven minutes past, eight minutes past preset two, and preset three, nine minutes past, well, oh, nine minutes past for preset three, there we go. So let's see if that changes. So I've just changed the light sequence to something that isn't in the preset list. Let's see if this actually works. And yes, it does work. Very nice. So now we have to wait for eight minutes past. We'll see whether it changes to the next one. Okay, just a few more seconds. Let's see whether this one changes. And sure enough, it has. Very nice. Now for the last one. OK, 
okay just a few more seconds and there it has it's changed absolutely excellent a very nice feature now let's have a look at this playlist whilst we're at it so we'll just call it playlist one so we've got playlist entries out of there so we'll do that one we'll do that one and we'll do the three now this has got 10 second duration transition time 0.7 of a second and we'll save that let's see whether these actually change after 10 seconds sure enough they do very nice if you don't have a MQTT controller and just remember we are synchronized across all three of the lights here so we've got one unit doing the control and the other two slaving off it absolutely excellent that's really nice right, so we'll delete that playlist Well, I'm sure there's many, many, many more options that we haven't discovered today. But all in all, this 14 uh, version 14 beta seems to be working well. So I'll be testing this over the next coming weeks. And um, just keeping an eye on the web page for any indication of any new features that we've got. But all in all, definitely improvement in the software. This software is definitely growing and turning into a, a really, really nice compact piece of software that you can run on an uh, ESP8266. Anyway, I hope this video has been useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.